So most of my work has been focused on the female athlete triad. And it's a syndrome that starts from energy deficiency, whereby these women fail to eat enough calories to support all the calories that they're burning. What we know in, in sort of popular literature is that a woman that runs a lot might lose her period. She might stop menstruating. But that's her body's way of telling her that the energy she has on board is insufficient to maintain the exercise as well as all the basics of uh, metabolism and just basic vital physiological processes. The female athlete triad is a spectrum of health, health problems that occur in female athletes that range from mild health problems to severe health problems. So optimally, you have adequate energy intake so that you can support all your energetic exposure, which maintains optimal menstrual cycles and optimal bone health. However, in the case where you fail to eat enough calories, the worst case scenario is that you will have a severe energy deficiency with or without some of the disordered eating patterns, amenorrhea, which means you've completely stopped menstruating, and you have low bone mass such that we can call it osteoporosis. And I've had many an athlete tell me, well, I'm supposed to train and run as hard as I can until I stop getting a period. And all my friends tell me when I'm not menstruating anymore, that's when I know I'm in my training zone. Well, that's wrong. Amenorrhea or failing to menstruate for months on end is not a normal response to training. It's an abnormal response with serious health consequences. These bone health problems might not be reversible, might not be reversible. This syndrome of medical disorders affects not only elite athletes, but it affects recreationally active women. I've documented this very well in recreational runners doing as little as 10 miles a week. Women are not exercising at too hard an intensity, or they're not running too much. It's a matter of making sure, no matter how hard you run or how many calories you're burning, that you in turn feed your body back those calories and make sure you have enough good calories. We are not telling women that exercise is bad for you, that too much exercise will render you know, the female athlete triad. It's really all about energy and caloric intake. And so we really have to be concerned about trying to coach young athletes to eat enough calories. I would encourage to engage in this kind of conversation, not be afraid to talk about periods, because once you start talking about it, the athletes will have a lot, a lot to say. It shouldn't be taboo, there shouldn't be a stigma any longer. The female athlete triad has been around for a while and it's something we just need to get on the table and start talking about. And sadly, that's probably where we have the most, to, uh, most ground to cover in terms of high school athletes and high school coaches getting up to speed and getting more exposure to this kind of information. Not wi many women share with a coach, you know, whether they're having regular menstrual periods, but it shouldn't be a question that coaches are afraid to ask, even if they're male. It has to become part of the conversation between trainers and athletes, between parents and their kids that are athletes, and between coaches and their athletes. If you are concerned about the female athlete triad, you should go to the femaleathletetriad.org website. Super easy to access. There's lots of information on the website to include information about how to find a physician. There's information about the science of, of the triad. And there's also a calculator so you can calculate how much food you need to eat.